welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. Today's video, friends, we're finally doing it. I'm putting up the icicle lights in the living room. I'm very excited. If you want to know a little bit more about it specifically in my holiday decor haul, I'll only get in the cards as well description. I talked a little bit about them and gave a little bit more of a demo. I got this from a brand called All Night. They sent these to me and I was like, I want to try using these inside because like I've said, like 10 million times. I don't have a plug outside. I live in a very old house, so we don't have a plug outdoors. So everything has to either be battery operated or solar when it comes to outside lights. So I thought I wanted to try a really fun way to use icicle lights inside. I think I'm gonna try and put them all the way around a good perimeter of the living room. And I think it's gonna look really, really cool. Um, this room, well, I have the tree up. I'll do a little bit of a walk through the tree later in the video. Don't worry, but doesn't she look cute? Like. She's living her best life. This room is kind of dark. Our windows that actually face east where the sun comes in when the days the sun is around, they're like quarter size windows. So we don't get much light in here. And so that's why I like to have lots of lights and lots of decor and that kind of thing to help brighten the room. Right now I'm using the one big window we have as lighting for you. But I'm really excited to put these in here. I think it's gonna look really cool. I'm probably, I'm gonna have to do it this evening um, when Craig wakes up because I cannot reach the ceiling, <laughs> even on a ladder, there's no way. I'm gonna have Craig help me do it. I think I'll probably do a little bit more of like a time lapse and maybe a voiceover of the process so you guys can see how it works. I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope it maybe inspires you in case you're looking for some fun ways to add lights to your house house or if you have some fun icicle lights and you're not quite sure what to do with them and you can't put them outside here's a really fun way I think to use them so let's get into it all right so I thought I would do a bit of a voiceover like I said so here are the 3m hooks I use these are just like tiny little hooks they are meant for holding lights like you can see on the little picture there um, we found these at Target and we are just doing them uh, all along on the ceiling like maybe every foot, foot and a half or so, we're putting up a, a little hook and then we hook the lights into it. These are actually super simple to put up there. I was really, really pleased because I will say the packaging and I think even online 3M says that these um, kind of hooks aren't really great for textured walls or ceilings, but thankfully we didn't have any issues. So I say give it a try if that's something you have, especially if you're living in an apartment and you have those kind of things. Um, it's much easier than we were originally gonna use thumbtacks and I'm really grateful we didn't have to do that and uh, hopefully this leaves a little bit less damage uh, on the ceiling because we are renters <laughs> and I definitely don't want to owe anything whenever we eventually move out but these were like I said super easy to put up uh, and I'm, I was really pleased you know like you can see Craig definitely had to do it because um, even on the stool his six, six foot two you know he reached the ceiling I'm five foot one so there's zero chance I would have been able to reach it so I was grateful he was willing to help me on this but they turned out really really well so I'm excited for you guys to see the full effect of everything and definitely give this a try yourself because I think it's absolutely worth doing and uh it was a lot of fun so I hope you hope this helps me give you a little bit of an idea of of an easy way to do it especially if you want to do it in your house or you know kids room or your room or like a little meditation room I think this would be really really lovely to have uh, in a space like that so yeah and this went one strand went about one and a half or basically two walls worth of a uh, of the house it is the next morning and can I just say I'm so excited I have them off right now the lights are up I have them off but I'm gonna turn around and show you guys it off and then I wanna show you it on because the difference is absolutely amazing. I would say if you're someone also with seasonal effect disorder, I think this is gonna be a game changer. For me already today, and it's a great, great day. And this morning, like, I instantly turned these on and I was just like, I can get things done today. I I'm filming, like, <laughs> it's gonna be a productive day. Just, to, just a thought in case you're someone who also suffers with seasonal effect disorder, I think these are honestly any lights, but I really do like these. I like how bright they are and I like the different color options. So let me just turn you around. 
Yes, you'll see my tree. We're gonna get to that, I promise. We'll do a little show and tell of my tree. So this room, you know, it's not as bright as we'd like it to be, especially gray days like this. My windows are small little windows for how big this room is. Let's just turn the lights on. Wait for it, friends, wait for it. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the room instantly becomes so much brighter. <laughs> it's amazing. So right now I have the color thing. It's right now it's um, mostly white with a little bit of the color in it. So let me go through the four different color options just so you guys can see them. So we have this mix that you see. This is just the warm white. <laughs> this is the full color. I like it. I love the color, but I will say it's a, it makes the room a little bit darker. And for me, I really wanted it to make it nice and bright. But I'll say if you're using these outside, dude, it's going to look so cool at night. Any of the options are going to look cool, but that'll be really nice and like a good contrast. Um, but if you're using it inside like I am, at least for my purposes, I wanted it nice and bright. So not my pr preferred choice of color, but I like it's there. I think in a kid's room, this would be super playful and fun. And like I showed you in the video, we just used the little 3M tiny little light clip things. We got those at Target, super cheap, and they worked really well. And we have popcorn ceilings. It says that they don't work on popcorn ceilings, but they lied to you, they do. This is the mix I do. So it's like a little bit of color with the warm. So it's not like, super just completely white it adds a little bit of color into it there are different there are timer sets so i have this is the little remote i'm using so there are different timer options they have slow glow so it like kind of glows in there's the breathing there's flashing a couple different flashings there's a slow fade there's comb where it goes through all the different ones honestly let's see what that looks like <laughs> So I think it's just gonna start with one color and then yeah, it's just gonna go through each of the different four color options. Kind of switch it up. That's fun. That's happy. Um, I don't wanna do any of the flashing cause I don't wanna trigger any sort of seizures in anyone, but there are a couple different flashing options. I do like the, I think it's the breathing one. So it kind of, it's not like super flashy. You can kind of tell it goes, it's like with each little breath, it goes between the different four color options and it kind of goes in and out. I think it's just really cool and it's very fun. And you can also change how bright it is. So like say you got the bright white one on and it's just a little too bright, even though it's a warm yellow, you can make it a little bit less bright. So I really love this remote control option that makes it super easy. Okay, next, let's go to the tree. I'm so excited for this. Let me move the stand. I'm working around cats that are hanging all around me. I'm trying to show you the full tree. So we have it on an ottoman of our gifts. And I just put this little tree skirt I made a few years ago. Look how fun and multicolored it is. It was super easy to do, by the way. If I can find the tutorial I followed for the tree skirt, I'll link it down in the description. So check that. Here's our tree. And this is like one of those trees from Walmart. It's just multicolored. Um, white and I really like it because I don't know it looks like a fun Betty cupcake I've said that every year and you can also see our corner in the shelf over there I have Mrs. Beauregard Arcos first shelf I kept the spider rope line belt because I just really liked it I do like gnomes especially around holiday uh, the Christmas I think and also because I'm working through the earth section in my uh, witchcraft book so you know, gnomes are very earthy. We have our love is love snow globe. These are the owl um, candle holders. There's the single wick candle holders I got from Bath and Body Works this year. Santa, those little flocked trees I got from at home. Here's my whole like woodsy area. Little cardinal candle holder from at home. Some of my Santas, these are things that are passed down to meet my mushroom. Got that last year at Joann's, I love it. A little deer, I don't have the lights on in this, but you see, there's the deer. And then these two shelves never change. This is my crystal shelf. Um, here's Miss Dodds. I set up a little blanket underneath because cats notoriously want to get in the tree, but I figure if I set up a blanket, they fo focus on, hey, I can sleep down here versus I'm gonna get up in this tree. Doesn't mean they don't try, but still. They've been a lot better this year because of this. And I put it on the big, 
Black Autumn. I don't know if you can really tell too much. My little bat ornaments. I love these. I got these last year from Killstar. Okay, I have the mic facing towards me now, so hopefully you can hear me a little bit better. But last year we got our, our Disco Santa from Walmart, so I got the <laughs> Disco Starfish from Target this year. I just thought it was so happy. Um, What are some other ones my favorites? All the different, like, we have so many fox and uh just <laughs> honestly lots of fox ornaments all the fox ornaments because we get them a lot as gifts and here's my ones from Emmons Brow, the little jack-o'-lantern pails of course you got to have yourself a little KitchenAid mixer ornament I don't know if it's KitchenAid mixer ornament whatever <laughs> my goddess ornament I got that last year from the sojourner um let's see oh i love this these are um craig's mom made these for craig and i oh my gosh what does it say 2008 <gasps> really so we had only been dating like a year at that point um but we were both in music fraternity as in college i was in sigma alpha yoda find me alpha <sighs> what else do we have I'm trying to think oh i did i don't know if i show these to you guys but i got the little, um, these are from Emmons Sprout, so they had a little spooky gingerbread, and I don't know where the other one is. Oh, I see it. Let me get you to it. That one. A little skull wreath. I don't know if it's going to focus on it, but <laughs> those are so cute. Um, but yeah, so our tree, we do lots of, obviously, very, like, the handmade and just different, fun, colorful. This is definitely not a, uh, fancy let's match everything kind of tree but i like it because like i said it's just this is such a fun joyful memorable thing for us and so i like to put things on there that bring back really fun memories so that's our tree i kept some of the <laughs> stuff back there i did move my little witch canvas it was there i have that one still up but the one back here i just moved her because you can't see her at all here's all of our gifts I put my, all the cute little Joanna Parker things on my little broom. I don't know if you guys remember this little broom tiered shelf that I got, I think, from Marshalls. So I thought that looked really cute on there. And then, well, well you can't see him as well when he's lit up, but there's our Grinch. I did a little wintry village. I don't have the light turned on on that, but it's a little greenhouse. Um, this is my candle wax melter thing not a wax melter just a candle candle lamp i don't know what they're called i got that at joanne's actually and it's been so nice to be able to have like burn candles and get that scent without you know an actual flame so it's been a little bit safer and i really really like and i think actually it made the i feel like it's made the scent stronger on all this stuff so i really like it there's our stockings here's just the view of the room jip on this is like her place <laughs> but the lights the mantle crazy dining room <laughs> and then our tree so I have like a lovely little view when I'm sitting on the couch and it's just especially with these lights up it really makes a big difference I find I love it so much all this to say, I am super, super pleased with how these turned out. Thank you so much for all night to sending these to me. They did extend the discount code, so definitely check in the link in the description. There'll also be a discount code there. I'm also going to insert some video of the star lights outside. Love that they are solar, so it's going to be fun. I have some candy canes, if you can see out here, like candy cane little things I poke in. I got those from Dollar Tree several years ago, and I'm draping the star lights over those. And I think it's just going to be like a nice fun little thing in the front yard to add some light to it and again since I don't have a plug this is a great way to get some light and I'm, I'm really really pleased with it I think it looks really happy so yeah thank you guys so much I really hope you enjoyed this video I know it's a little bit shorter a little bit different but I wanted to give you an idea in case you know you're wanting to use some icicle lights or different ways to use lights inside especially um, maybe for kids or if you if you're just like me, seasonal effect disorder, and you want to add additional light, I think something like this is a really, really fun way to do it. And also, this could look super, super fancy. I mean, if you wanted to go all out, you could add some garland right around the edging of the light 
and then it would just look especially if you had it right up against the edge of the wall that would look super fancy better homes and gardens needs to come to your house because you have just done it all i'm that kind of person that wants to be a little bit extra obviously you see how i decorate i go a little all out with everything i was afraid these weren't even gonna hold so i wasn't even gonna try to put garland um if you own your own house or if you're somewhere where you can screw hooks in i think that would be better like i said the three hooks they seem to be holding well i'm really pleased so far it's only been about a day but things are holding up there that could be an option if you're a renter yeah thank you guys so much i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you to all night for sending me these lights to try out i'm really really pleased i'll have the again everything in the description for them if you guys want to check them out but if you guys did like this video please give me a big old thumbs up also if you aren't already please do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit the bell so you're notified every single time i upload i try to do one to two videos a week so you don't want to miss out <sighs> you guys just thank you for everything i mean whether truly whether you're a patron, whether you're a subscriber, or whether you're someone who dropped by just to watch this video and get some fun ideas, thank you for spending time with me. I really hope this helped maybe inspire you as well to do some, some fun things with your decorating style. Just thank you guys. I really appreciate everything. Uh, I hope you're doing wonderful, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!